What's going on everyone? This is part two of last week's video. Right now we're on a ledge freelining for mangoes. Get a decent amount. We're using strike lines charts here, so make sure to stay tuned. All right, got the mango rod set out. And we are fishing for hogfish also. But the hogfish have been evading us at this spot so far. I have to move in a second, but the mango bite is just hot. Got that little shrimp on, dropping it down. And what I got is my 4K twin power, 20 pound braid, 20 pound leader, and a 3 4 ounce hog ball. Every few seconds, I'll just let some more flat line out. Possibly. All right, new spot. First. Oh, look at that AJ. AJ? Dude, that's 80 pounds. He's a giant. Oh, porgy. Giant AJ. Where? He just swam under the boat. That was a big boot at first. Here's that porgy. Get him released. Mango. Do you want him? You can let that guy go. He's so lucky. Here's that mango. He gets lucky. Reach with another potential mango. On another. Were you on bottom or you were above? Above. Yep. Doesn't compare to the one I have. I'd say similar. Is it? Yeah. I want that dog. Wow. Greedy. Sleeping on it. The mangoes are firing up. Wow, this is a little rat. There'll be bigger ones later. Ooh, he almost bit me. Another go. What I'm using? A little yellowtail jig. Uh, sir. And then a dead thread. Cut the tail off. Then I'm just freelining it down, feeling for the fish. Good mango. Reese got a mango too. Flatlining for go. This might be a more worthy mango. Huh? Here's Reese's mango. Certified one? Oh yeah, that's a worthy mango. There's the one we're looking for. Oh. Oh. Hold that one up. Yeah, Ooh, something you got weird. growth. Big or no, one. you got bit by something. Ooh, I got a mango on too. Oh yeah. Decent. 
on the flat line. Not as big as Reese's. But this is, this is the keeper mango. Here he is. But he's not big enough for. We need him to grow up. Here he is. Boop. All right, then I'm just feeling for it on the way down. And I'm sure they'll just rip it out of my hand. Letting it go down. Got a good bite, has potential. I hope it can run again. Good. I mean, this definitely has potential. It's a false alarm. Red grouper. Give me my shrimp. Oh, big bang. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that fish I just got that got rudely cut off by the camera dying is a. Uh, First, first red snapper of the year. He's, I was like trolling that on all thing and he smoked it. But pretty little red snapper, keeper, probably six pounder or so. Let's get him released. Another fish on. This got to be a jack of all trades. Tell me. Mako Jack, I feel so bad for these things when I fish with my good buddy. So <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. I thought it was a pretty good mango bite. And again, we were using strike lines charts, found a ledge out there, live chumming it up. So make sure to use code GROUPERMVP, link in the description, to get 10% off your order. But we had some really windy weather this year. Haven't been able to get out much, but hopefully this week I'll get out again, do some offshore fishing, maybe target some permit, hogfish, whatever. And then soon we'll be able to go back out deep, do some deep dropping, go target tuna, get some grouper, and then soon enough, it'll be June 1st and gags will open back up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as I upload weekly videos, and I'll see you next time.